Don't run for me, 60 FPS peasant. Boom! Fortnite just released a brand new update for iOS and iPad, and on the 2018 iPad Pro, which we have right here, it's about one and a half years old right now, you can play at 120 FPS. That's actually insane. On the PS4 Pro, on the best Xbox out there, you're limited to 60, but with this iPad Pro, you can go up to 120 FPS. So in this video, we're gonna show off some of that gameplay. We're actually gonna show some slow motion 120 FPS footage to show you guys how much better it is than 60. And we're also at 100% battery life right now, so we're gonna see how much battery life it drains after one hour of gameplay. We're actually at 1027 right now. So let's open Fortnite right here. And right here, you can see that we're at 120 FPS right there. We've got our show FPS on. You guys can see right down there, 120 FPS. Here you guys are. We can see that we're at a consistent 120 FPS. It's not dropping below at all. And everything so far is just incredibly smooth. It almost feels like unrealistic. I've played at 60 FPS before with the controller. And I can tell you that if you guys wanna play Fortnite on an iPad or an iPad Pro, you need a controller. It's just so much better than using the claw or hand controls or anything like that. Ooh, what's up, bro? Woo, what's up? Man, this is so nice with this controller. I'm crouching right now. I don't know if you guys can see, but now we get L3 and R3 controller support. So the R3 is actually crouching and the L3, let's see can actually do auto sprint. So it's sprinting automatically. Everything's incredibly smooth. Oop, someone's down here. Oh, got him. Got him. Got him. Yes. Oh, he's in the bush. So far, the performance has been insane. Everything's perfectly smooth, no matter how many gun battles I've been getting in. And one thing I know is that when this update came out, people were actually complaining because they were saying that people with iPad Pros, the 2018 model, get an unfair advantage. And I could actually see where they're getting that from because it does make it super smooth. Gotcha. Oh no, reload. Woohoo! What's up, bro? You missed every time. Come on. Oh, I'm missing. Don't miss. Woohoo! Woo! What's up, man? I see you. I see where you're at, bro. Woo! Look at that, man. Oh, this is great. What's up? You want to go too? Woo! Dude, why is everybody trying to kill me here? Leave me alone. So as you guys saw from all those gun battles, no drop frames at all, really reliable, really smooth gameplay. It actually does help your performance in game. Oh, he got me. Don't run from me. 60 FPS peasant. Boom! Got him. Yes, got him, got him. Someone's behind me too. Yes. Why didn't you kill me, dude? Ha 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 ha. What's up, dude? Yes, got him. I used to play mobile with just finger controls and honestly, I'd be dying like all the time and I've never played this good. I'm not this good at this game, but with controller support, I'm just so much better, so much easier like this. Oh, I barely got him, guys. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Victory Royale, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Controller support, 120 FPS. It actually does give you an unfair advantage. This is insane.
Yes! Yes, 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 yes. I see you. Oh! <laughs> yes! Woo! In the face! All right, guys, so it's 11.27, exactly an hour of gameplay at 120 FPS, and we are at 58% battery life. Where's this dude? 58% battery life, so I think 120 FPS does definitely take more battery power than 60, even at medium settings. So you can at least play two full hours straight on battery power alone before you grab your charger, which isn't that great, but still, you're playing at 120 FPS. That was that, guys. That was a lot of fun playing at 120. Definitely super smooth, crazy good performance, no drop frames, probably the best Fortnite experience you can probably get. Some would argue with that, but you can't even get 120 FPS on consoles, so PC gamers can go beyond that. But still, this is amazing for an iPad Pro that goes as low as $650 on sale on Amazon, which is insane. So with that, you guys can see 120 FPS slow down. Look at all those frames that you're getting. This is just insane on the iPad Pro. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, click that circle about to subscribe and check out one of those two videos right over there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.